What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I hope that you guys are in good health. And I know you are smelling off the chain. Yes, sir. So, today is Tuesday, y'all. So, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Middle Eastern Tuesday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. MET is back in full effect, man. I told y'all every Tuesday I was going to bring you guys a Middle Eastern fragrance that I think you guys should definitely check out. That ain't going to cost too, too much coin. Um, this one, guys, is here a little bit on the higher end right here, but I think it's very, very worth it from what I've tried from this series so far, man. Stellar, stellar juice. Um, yeah, man, so if you have this in your collection, definitely let me know what your experience is, but I wanted to share with the guys who don't know. Um, I do have one that I'm really excited to talk about for the next Middle Eastern Tuesday. Hopefully, they'll be here before then, which is the Fragrance World version of Bodacia the Victorious, which is called Green Sapphire. So, yeah, it's the same name. I know. They, these places just don't care anymore. Anyways, man, today, 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 Tuesday, what we're going to be talking about, man, is going to be coming from the house of Ajmal. And we're going to be talking about this one, y'all. This one is... Hakora Wood. This is a 100 ml bottle. Auto Paw Farm concentration, man. This is the box that it comes in. Really, really nice box. Pleather, like a gold little. This is plastic too, but it's really nice, man. Your box opens up like this. Your box sits inside there. I mean, your bottle sits inside there. You got some ingredient information on the bottom that says Hakora Wood, Auto Parfum, 100 ml bottle. Yeah, man, so really nice presentation and the bottle is just as nice. Bottle comes in this sexy black bottle. That's what the bottle looks like. Really, really nice bottle. Got some information on the bottom as well. Ajmal. And then it has like this little stone at the top too, like a little gem, which I thought was really nice. You know, nice little presentation, man. So you can pick up this Ajmal, man. I'm definitely gonna have it in the description box, man. I'm gonna try to find out the cheapest price I can. I paid about 90 bucks for this. Um, this is a this is Ajmal's niche uh, brand, which is a part of their W series, which is Santal Wood, Amber Wood, Hakora Wood, which is all based around wood. And I believe there's a few more that, and there's also a musk line as well. Um, Hakora Wood, y'all, came out in 2014, man. It is a considered a woody spicy. Um, this this juice right here, I can't lie to y'all, bro. This is upper echelon type of juice. The you know how sometimes we're so used to like sweet citruses or tart citruses. The the citrus that's in here is so smooth and stellar it's 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 a fragrance that you just have to experience man this i wore this to work yesterday and my co-worker she's like man jeremy you smell so good you always smell good but i could just like my sillage was hitting on another level bro it was nuclear um this is a fragrance i do say do not spray a lot of because you don't need much of it but man this stuff is absolutely amazing man this stuff has hakora uh, uh, lemon this yeah so Hakor is a somebody told me one of my subscribers told me so I want to get it wrong Sakor Hakora well I think it's called Shator because they use it for cooking over in India um it's a limp it's a part of the lemon family and it's like a spicy lemon from what I heard and it's only grown in India and a few other places and it was specifically brought over to make Hakor uh, wood and I thought that was dope man I never experienced Hakor until I smelled the fragrance I just you know yeah so there's Hakora there's lemon there's peach there's agarwood there's lavender there's rose there's um I believe there's sandalwood in here that's a lot of stuff man amber musk ambergris lavender rose ginger saffron man it's a 
bevy of notes. But the thing that I get the most of is that Hakora, that peach, that lavender, that sandalwood, that agar, and then it is a warm scent as well. So that would I would consider that to be amber as well. And a little musky as well, but not like a white musk where it's like this is this is a different level of musk in this fragrance, man. So when you first open it, you first spray this on, you get that hakor, the smooth, smooth hakor lemon, and you get like this soft peach on top of that. And then as it continues to transition, it's really fresh and nice and and little. I don't want to say it's bright because it's not a bright, bright fragrance, but bright to the point where it doesn't make the fragrance too dark. That's when that lavender comes in with that um, that hakora and that peach and just smooth. I mean, smooths it out. I mean, like baby bottom smooth. It's super, super smooth. And then as the fragrance continues to transition into the heart and to the dry down, that hakora and that peach goes throughout the damn near the duration of the fragrance. Then that 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 hakora and the peach the, the, the hakora and the peach dissipates. And then you get the agarwood, you get the oud, the saffron, and the sandalwood, and the amber. And that's basically what you got throughout the whole duration of the fragrance at the end. This fragrance land is nuclear. It's gonna last you eight to 10 hours. That's why I say you don't need too many sprays. It's a fragrance that I believe suits formal occasion. It, it, it suits a boss. It suits, um, Basically, to be honest, I would say you can wear this all year round. However, I believe in uh, super, super, super hot weather. I don't think it'll be, it'll do the best. I wore it yesterday and yesterday was about, about 72, 73 degrees and it, it was fine. It's a fragrance I definitely think you guys should experience, man. It's really, really, really nice. From what I've seen, you can pick it up for like $82, $83 on most discounts from what I've seen. I definitely think you should check it out, man. It smells amazing niche quality at a, a reasonable price to be honest and it smells amazing the sillage of this stuff is unlike no other that i have it's such a luxurious fragrance man and honestly it allows you to um jump into a a note profile that we i don't know too much about you know that i really was my first time experiencing i enjoy it with that being hardcore lemon I really, really enjoy this fragrance, man. On the recommendation scale for MET, yes. If it, if you want something that smells sophisticated, luxurious, different, I believe that this is it, man. This is a really, really nice thing. You're gonna stand out, and there's gonna be a fragrance that, that commands the room in a good way, not in an obnoxious way, but a very good way, man. This is a really good fragrance, man. Hakora Wood, y'all, is on MET. T, that's the one we're talking about today. Down in the comments, y'all, let me know if you have Hakora Wood in your collection. I think it's amazing. I think it's something you should definitely look into trying, smelling, and I, if, you, if you're like me, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a love for something so nice. Like I said, that Hakora and that peach, once you smell that, you're going to be like, man, yeah, this is different. This is different. That's going to do it for me, y'all. My name is Jeremy. You're tuned into the House of Colossus. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos. Until we meet again, much love from your boy. I'll catch y'all on the next Tuesday for MET. Peace.